All right, I'm doing the inside of the back legs. You got to have some muscle in there. And uh, I'm going to try to finish up the rabbit today and then get onto the uh, tail of the horse and get that worked out. Sorry, I had a busy day yesterday and I ran out of time by the time I got ready to uh, get to work on my clay. And so that blew the day. Also, I am going to be going to the uh, storage unit this uh, Thursday to try to find a uh, set of molds that I've got to get a bid on. And then on Friday, I'm going to the uh, foundry in Livingston, Montana to get a bid on this clay as well as the uh, cowboy clay of uh, Cup of Joe before night herding. So it's going to be a busy week this week. And some of it's going to be out of the outside the studio. But I'll try to video as much as I can, and uh, let's get on with the day today. Time to play with some play. Yes, I've got my heater on again. It's up in the 50s, but it's still cool from overnight and a little too cool for the uh, clay. So I got the heat on for a little while. Let's see if I can get this angled here. So I can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, I'm gonna call it quits on the rabbit for now. And uh, if I sell a copy of this, I'll work on it a little bit more. There's some little cleanup areas that I gotta do and stuff like that. But right now, all I wanna get is the idea of how much it's gonna cost to reproduce this piece in bronze. And I've got it far enough along that uh, I can get good information from the foundry now. And uh, it won't change all that much when I do get it ready to be cast in bronze. I'm using lighter fluid, of course, to uh, get rid of some of the uh, rough areas on the clay. I figured I'd do this now before I uh, connect it to the tail. I've got to figure out how I'm going to remove 
the rabbit from the base, which it will be part of. And uh, that's what I'm going to do next. All right, be right back. I extended the uh, base a little bit with another piece of wood uh, so that I could uh, extend the base for the cowboy and have enough room for them to make a rubber mold of this piece. You got to have a little extra room for uh, the molding of the uh, clay. And uh, I got to figure out how I'm going to, what I'm going to probably do is just go ahead and build up the base around this rabbit and then uh, cut it away from that and just so that I can pull it out away from the uh, the original clay so that they can make a mold of this separate. All right, I've taken a wire and I've run it around the rabbit where it mounts. <clears throat> and now I'm going to uh, solidify it. I mean, I'm going to uh, get it to the uh, attach it to the base by putting clay on it to keep it down until I need to pull up on it and then that will cut through the clay and separate him from the base. They do this in ceramics, I think. I know I've done it in the past, so it works. It ain't pretty, but it works. I just realized my camera wasn't recording, and I don't know if I got all that I did, but I'll just assume I didn't, which would be usual. Anyway, I've got that wire still exposed. It's right here and here, and I can grab it uh, to cut the uh, rabbit loose once I get this base pretty well blocked in. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go ahead and cut it loose now or wait. I think, well, I've got to cut it loose before I get done because, with my base, because uh, I've got to be, wet, be able to work on that tail. So, now I just got to figure out how to get this up and out before uh, I continue without wrecking the uh, clay itself. Now, let's see if this comes out fine. One thing I gotta get that screw undone. Come on out. Let's see. I 
There we go. Now you see how I got that worked out. That worked out pretty darn good. And by just pressing the clay in, it holds it in place until I decide I want to remove it. Okay. That means I don't have to screw it down to hold it in place, so I can just go ahead and cover up where I had the hole. And if I want to remove it, I just stick that under there and pull it out. Now it's time to design the base. Okay, I'm going to try to take it out again. There we go. And uh, got to cut this free. Good work. That works out beautifully. I don't want to get it in there so solidly I can't get it apart. But I want to be able to get it apart too. It'll be a lot easier for them to make a mold of this separate. Put it in there and then weld the uh, seams uh, and then blend them in with the uh, rest of the texture around it. All right, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. I'll start working on the tail of the horse and uh, deconstructing that and re reconstructing it tomorrow and uh, try to get this to a point where they can see how it's going to be. All right, everybody. Have a great night and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.